Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Body up to retrieve the set screw and the boom. You know, the explosion happened and there's springs and parts and pieces everywhere. I don't know how to put it back together. So, <laughs> But now we have a Do door. Yes, but I don't know how to put it back together. Well, th that function is not terrible. Um, you know, when you, I would, if I, I would absolutely put that, put Humpty Dumpty back together. Um, I would suggest that you call Dorma and ask that they send you an exploded parts drawing because I don't have one. And just, you know, if you've got all the parts, give it a whack. If you can't, go into a locksmith and say, here, my man, put it put it back together for me. I'll be back in an hour and pay the guy. Because, you know, you know, that would be my suggestion. And I say that because it's an, uh, it's an 047. That's not a complicated function. There's no deadbolt in it. Right. So, yeah, I mean, they end up you know, with an electronic strike. Say again. Um, bear, bear, so there's an electric strike on this opening. I'm sorry. It, yes, electric. It's electric strike, but you can also get in with a key okay. from the outside. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's right. So I was. Yeah, what I said was, if you wanted to ship all that to me, I could put it back together. Um, but you might just want to try to, you know, get that from the manufacturer, the drawing, and give it a whack. It's not. You know, you you might not be able to do it, um, or you might be able to do it. Um, I would probably that's try. That's what I would it. try before. If I, was, if I was the one that blew it apart, and I was absolutely convinced I didn't lose any pieces, but since I wasn't there when it yeah. happened, it, it makes it harder for me to try to put this thing back together. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm if, if you don't have all the parts, and it, yeah, if you don't have all the parts, and this is a fire door, you've you you don't want to play with that one. Uh, I'm sure it's a fire door. Yeah, you don't you don't personally want to be involved in in putting something back together on a fire door. If it what if it doesn't operate correctly and there's a fire? Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean it is a fire door. Yeah, I unless you were absolutely you know absolutely convinced you had all the parts and when you put it back together it worked perfectly because yeah i mean who's not exploded a mortise lock i've done it um but yeah two options put it back together or or a new one uh and a new one is yeah. just nothing i'm going to have in stock yeah. i'm all for a new one but yeah like that's the problem is i have a door on the government building with no lock and there's really no other lock i can put in there i can't go to the store and buy one here so um uh -uh. that's kind of where i'm at so to do yeah i mean i could take it to a locksmith there's no guarantee you could fix it but Yeah, I mean, I would certainly, I would certainly get the drawing uh, from them and then go to a local locksmith and say, you know, can you put it back together? Um, because otherwise, you know, you're faced with a factory order. You could also call Dorma and give them your part number and ask them to run a sales report and tell you the last three people who bought it. But I think that's going to be a waste of time in the sense that the the function of that mortise cassette is an unusual function. I doubt anyone has bought that recently, certainly not for stock. It's an unusual function. Right. It's not that old of a build either, which is weird. Um, I didn't build the building, but, you know, I'm a contractor, but I could build the building to do some work for the town, but, yeah. Yeah, when I called Dorma and got the part number from them, they're like, oh, yeah, those things, you don't want to try to put them back together. <laughs> That's what the guy doing. Nah, come on. Nah. That's, nah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. 
No, if, that, if, if that's the way we operated, we'd not, never learn nothing new. So, <laughs> you know. I mean, look, I'll put stuff back I mean, together all the time, but, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I just, I, I'm just so dang busy is my problem. I didn't want to stick with it, but, um. Well, you go down a rabbit hole on that and you'll be a half a day before you realize it and you got better things to do. Right. That's the problem. All right, well, a year, a month out. Well, let me, uh, uh, let me see if I can, yeah, I guess it's worth trying to see if I can put it back together then. Before I threw it in the garbage, I would definitely take a stare at it because there shouldn't be that many parts. And depending on their parts drawing, it might be really well laid out where you can, some, some parts drawings for me, I find more challenging than others. Schlage is tough because of the way they stack the parts and the dash lines, which I know what that means, but it's like, show me the, show me exploded and then show it to me all together too. Um, and that's another thing. You could ask Dorma if you can get that guy in tech support to go to the back and send you a photograph of what it looks like under, with the case removed. That might be all you need. I, I, I've never even sold an, an apartment function Dorma mortise cassette. That's, that's my problem. Right. I talked to a, a local distributor, and he's like, that shouldn't be an apartment function. That should be a storeroom function because of, well, of what it is. You need it's, not, it's not an apartment. It's it's uh, it's actually a, uh, you know, it's like a garbage truck, you know, is where they park. It's like a garage with garbage trucks in it and stuff like that, you know. it's And, and from the town, it's you don't want people to get in unless they have a, a electronic you know, card that operates electronic strike. And then anybody Do you can require get out. that coming and going? No. Leaving it's you turn the knob, that door opens. Well, then your local guy is right because that fun that that apartment and it's it, it's called apartment function, not you know, they're not used on apartments. But your your guy's right. If the outside lever is always to be locked, and you can either get in with credentials or a mechanical key, but you can always exit, then he's right. You don't need a 60 function. And actually, that makes life even easier for you. Well, actually, latch bolt by trim either side, except when outside trim is locked by key inside. Okay, so, yeah, you know what? That part number from Dorma might be the wrong part number, um, and what you I actually say, have. Uh, the local guy said it's a it's a ninety eighty, but I'm yeah. looking at the, the plate the the Dorma this Dorma mortise lock. I have the plate in my hands, and it says Dorma M nine thousand chassis, and under that it says function zero six zero. Well, well, I mean that that uh, armor file. Yeah, that that armor front on the on the edge is going to be the same for an eighty function or a sixty function. So, I mean, if both worked in that door, then it really wouldn't matter to the to the to the building grounds guy that that hires me to do this work. I mean, like I said. Anybody can get out of this door. If they're in there, they want them to be able to get out. And getting in the door, yeah. the only person that has the key is the guy that's in charge of maintenance. Everybody else has has walks around with a with a with a car, you know, and a, that operates on electronic yeah. strike that has nothing to do with this mortise lock. Yeah. Yeah. So nobody has. Um. The key. But there's no deadbolt in this thing. It's just a strike. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's no deadbolt. Um, well, but if everything lines up and works, I mean, I don't, you know, it doesn't make any difference to me which one I get as long as I get one. I mean, I, you know, I just I don't want to get one and not line up with the strike or not fit, you know, because there is that little thing still under, you know, while everything's drilled and stamp and all that so yeah as long as you order a dorma um you're going to be in good shape um 
So I have 80 functions on order with the factory, um, but they're not coming in until the middle of November. So, you know, that, that doesn't help you today, but I already have some in the pipeline, so to speak. Right. So we don't have the 60s or the 80s, so neither one would probably work. Yeah, true. Um, actually, yeah, I don't, I don't have, I don't have, it doesn't look like I have anything. Let's see if there's a 70. Yeah, the only thing I've got is a, pa a passage function on 50. Let's go to 50 function. Yeah, it's, that's the problem with Hager and Dorma, you know, and some other manufacturers. It's, it's, it takes time to get parts. If it was Schlage, bam, you could have that stuff on Monday. Yeah. Um, or Sargent, you know, and others, but yeah. Yep, that's what I'm finding. Um, it seems to me it won't it. hurt to try to put it back together. You might get lucky. Um, but keep in mind, I do have some already on order, but they're still three weeks away. Right. Okay. All right. Well, I got your info written down here. So I do appreciate your help. Thanks for calling, sir. My name is Richard. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.